One good example of how federated access would work is actually in a lecturer's teaching materials that they have perhaps produced on Blackboard or any other VLE, uh, where in many instances the way they have produced those new teaching packs has been with a um, learning material and then a set of URLs or links that the students are then referred to to actually um, look up at a separate time. Um, but of course with federated access what you can do is actually embed those links actually in the text so that when the, the student comes across the link in the text then they just click on it and in fact the resource come, becomes immediately um, identifiable and displayed on the screen. Uh, this is something that's called waifless URLs. Uh, what happens is that behind the scenes, uh, because you're already logged in, because you're actually um, identified, you've authenticated uh, to the system, you are then authorized or provi provided with the authority to go directly to the resource without actually having to do any secondary login or, or, or uh, checking of your credentials. What this provides is a much more transparent and seamless experience for the users because if they actually then just click on that link uh, they will be taken to it immediately they won't have to authenticate to it in any way they'll be authorized to actually see it immediately